open the R and R hearing. You need to open the R and R hearing. Uh, you need to ask if there's any questions or comments on, on, on the R and R. Is there any questions? Any questions or comments on the R and R? Yeah, one of them is on. Uh, let's see, it's seven. I visited Keith Zangenbrain several times or a couple times, and he says that they have asked to have their budget cut in half. Is that correct? I, he said they don't need that much money. You've got any senior center down here, or a senior center that uh, service the agent, agent. And you've got. Uh, St. Francis Senior here, eight thousand dollars. You know nothing about that. I don't know. He said they, they get memorials, they get other sources of income, and uh, yeah, they want to cut it out. I, I wonder about all these things. Like Water site several months ago, it wouldn't make much difference if we took all these uh, people paid their own way. But, uh, to me, it's a principal event. It's, uh, I remember talking Keith, about Keith come to me and said he wanted to cut the budget in half. I agree. They don't need them if they don't need the money. But I hate to cut the budget just for the fact that we don't know what's going to happen down the road. And Keith says we get memorials. We don't know what we're going to get memorials next year. We have no idea. And then if if that budget comes up short, we can't help them. Cannot help them. Doesn't mean they have to spend it. How much was the money? Is there any way we can find out how the money is actually being spent? If these people all have budgets and they show at the end of the year whether they used all the money or whether they knew how the money was spent. See, that's what bothers the, me. The yeah. senior citizens, they, or that, they bring it in and show us what they spend their money on. Uh, the district, conservation district, we see that, don't we? Mm -hmm. Fair board. When, when are these brought in? When I don't, I've been coming to meetings and I haven't seen any of this information. How do I? How can I find out? I assume that <clears throat> public information. I may have to go to FOIA to, uh, to get it uh, to find the information. I'd like to see their budgets. What's it? We're, I'm a Hodge Club member. We don't take one penny out of the out of the county. We can find our own way to make money, and uh, we'll give you our budget. We'll show it to you every every penny we spend. We go. Well, I think we gave you guys two thousand dollars of the fund, though, here not too long ago. Yeah, but, the, yeah, that's but, that, was but that was for something that's else. That, oh, and that, that money's being spent right back into the. Right. I don't know why we do. I wanted that start. I don't know when that started and why it started. I'm still struggling with that one. It's okay. It's great because I get something the whole community uses, and, and uh, a lot of the things we've got going. Very small percent of the community uses the senior center down here. I go down. I, I'm in favor of all these things. I. I support them. You and the museum. They used to. They paid their own way back when Mel Lampy was chairman. They, they had memberships and they paid their own way. Several years ago, they came up here before your guys' time, I think, and uh, got on the on the county to do that. And they, they membership. I pay a membership. They won't send me even a bill to tell me my memberships due. I got to go up and write my check to them. See, and this bothers me that. We've got all kinds, there's all kinds of people. We had people in Denver, all over the nation were members of this our museum up here. But we've let that all fall apart. I think there's a few of them still pay. But you right. guys are paying a chunk. Look in that under the museum. And uh -oh. Check on that one. Right. And there was, if you go back 20 years, 15, 20 years, that wasn't on our roll. I'm pretty sure of that. I hope you correct me if I'm wrong. That's how we do the motorcycle museum too. We have What's a, that? That's how we do the motorcycle museum, and also with the since we're a five hundred one c three, we can the donations. That's how we run the museum down here. Mm -hmm. So, well, this concerns me. And there isn't maybe nobody else. I want to give you a document and then I'll leave. But uh, I think we need to we be concerned about how we spend the public money. Half and it was, it was like you're saying. The fund is quite interesting. Yeah, it's supposedly right. written many, many years ago. Well,
I'll check with the people down there. Again, Roger, I'm concerned about don't they carry insurance so that the building, and Keith, maybe you were the guy who made the comment with them, if the roof blows off the building, then they get to have money to repair the roof. Uh, don't they carry yeah, insurance it, down there? Oh, yeah, it, I'm sure it's insured. I'm just saying Keith has got a good idea. Cut the budget in half. I said no, just for the fact that we have no idea how many memorials they're going to get. That could end just like that. And then would you like to have the senior citizen closed because they're out know. of money? I go down there, the, the thing that bothers me, we, we provide, you and me, the rest of any of us that pay taxes or subsidize, you're getting a three and a half dollar meal that probably is costing six or eight dollars or ten. You can't go to Majestic or up here to the restaurants in town and you get a three dollar fifty cent meal. Yep. And they've got an upkeep box in there and I figured out if everybody paid a dollar tip every time they ate down there, there'd be a few thousand dollars that would come in through that. Along with my motive, a lot of people, I think we need these, they're nice things to have, but is there other ways we could do it? Can we get the people, most of those people down there aren't poverty stricken. They could afford to pay they eat, they eat out other times, they'll go up there and I'll see them up there. They're up there in Majestic or somewhere else. I have no problem, that's fine. But I think we need to learn that people, we're, we're getting to be a welfare state. We all want handouts. And to me, these are kind of the people who use these things. Everybody else in the county gets to pay for something they're not using. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I think we ought to think about that. It's just a matter, of, you know, it's up here where our problem is. And uh, we need to correct or think about our thinking. And, uh, oh, I'd say you need to go down there and tell them to raise their prices. Well, that's the government say about it. program. They can, they we don't have any say at all. They can't do that. I don't know how that works. Maybe you guys, you guys are in this one I am. But I think that's, it's all the Northwest Kansas, the Northwest Kansas, they're right. They're, as I understand it, their menu is made up by Hayes and pretty much, and they've got to go by the time. <coughs> Some people don't. If they can't afford to pay, they don't have to pay. I think most of them probably do pay. But uh, it's a... Uh, that's my concern. And uh, I think we ought to be thinking a lot about that. And next year we're getting higher, people complain about them. And uh, they'll talk to the coffee shop. They don't come talk to you. <laughs> so I'm the crank that comes and complains and just talks about it. But, Had some sort of emergency fund, we could cut it. They had, to, they had that to fall back on, and they could run. You know, they were running pretty security. tight for a lot of years. There. Yeah, and so. And I, I'm sorry, I don't hear what you're saying. Well, I guess I've been commissioner quite a bit, and that senior citizens center has run really tight for a lot of years, and I just hate to cut their budget, and then they'd have to close the doors because they don't have any money. No, if if they don't use all their money, does it come back to us? If they don't, if they don't use their complete budget, you just write them a check for eight thousand dollars, or how does that? They have to come into the general fund. How does that work? They get ninety percent. The what is that? January, and then they get the other ten percent. Don't come back. I don't believe. I believe once it dispersed to them. Because it's an appropriation. So, We're all smart so to figure out how to use money. I am in. Well, I use money. You can yeah. use some money. I'll figure out how to Well, save someday money. they're going to have a big, major project down there. Yeah. And they need to save money for it. That's my feeling. And the safety net. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if they had a big safety net, it'd be easier to new save. Chairs or so they used to, they'd have a container down to a light fair, what do they call it, the, the Thanksgiving night or the night after. They had a fundraiser. They quit doing all that now. See, they say, if we can come to, if we can get easy money, why work for it? This right. is what bothered me about a lot of things. See, yeah. If we, you guys will give them the money, why then they can go ahead and, and uh, not, and I don't find out anything. We don't, uh, if they're doing anything down there besides having the meals. I don't know what they are. It goes that way with everything I'm involved in. They have very little work. Communication-wise, we're really short on communication. What's what's going on? How they 
how, what's happening, how the money being used. Yeah, I know nobody's here from there, but can they carry their money over from one year to the next and save it for something? They can't do that. And that happens to every entity that's taking money out of the county. The fire board does that. I'm sorry. The fire board carries it over if they have any left. And the eight, what is it? it goes down to, to Hayes. You pay it, the senior. There's the, the, the senior money. Bird money. There's eight thousand. Uh, let's see. No. Fifty-five hundred Northwest Council on Aging. Do they have any, there any accountability on that? I assume every county. They've come to you and they go to every county in northwest Kansas and get some money for the area on aging down at, at Hayes. And, uh, is there any, any accountability on that? Do they come and give you an accounting how their money is being used? That's who most of it's south. Yeah, everybody, everybody comes people. in every year to... I'm sorry? Everybody comes in every year to ask mm -hmm. for that money again and they explain what they've done the year before or the year prior. That, that's in the budget hearing. Budget. No. It says you have fifty. before the budget. They, they before the budget. In. They did have eight. You cut them back. In, they did get eight thousand back in 22, 2021 and it says fifty five hundred was budgeted last year, and you got that budget again this year. So usually they'll come in. Different organizations come in and they'll give us the cost breakdown of what they've done. This is just an idea, and that's. Most entities do that. So they've got advertising, building maintenance. So Elmer, are you saying that all community foundations or organizations or this is typical, groups should Scott's be self-funded? They come in, they give us kind of a flow sheet of how their funds are being used. So I don't know. I'm a lot of problems. To my knowledge, we've never come to you guys for any kind of money in the last 70 years. Yeah, but there are other organizations that don't come to the commissioners either. I'm sorry. I said there are other organizations that don't come to the commissioners either, like 4-H clubs, mm -hmm. right. um, no, like church one. organizations. Like, I mean, there are, are numerous organizations out there that don't come to the commissioners for an appropriation. But I think that what the commissioners look at is what service is being provided to the community and does this benefit the community? Because you're talking about, you know, things like the the senior center, mental health, things of that, you know, nature that are getting these appropriations. Is that a benefit to the community? And so, but what I'm hearing from you is don't do that, commissioners. They need to be self-funded. I think they need to look at finding some of it on their own rather than coming and getting it all here the easy way. This is easy money. We come here, you guys give them the money, and we don't have to do anything for it. I guess what happens if we don't give them the money and they have to close because they don't have the... Well, they have to close. They could like the senior center again. They use raise part of their money by their... Uh, but it, it, like it, they could have fundraisers of their own. And, raise, and the people, I, there's only a small percent of the people in the community that are using that. A high percent that, of the people are... The, I use it, so I go down I support it. I'm in favor of it. I put a $2 check in their thing every time as a tip right. that they could pay. But... Uh, I think that we need to look at all these organizations taking money. Are we, right. are we ready? Are we serving that many people in the community? We still have stuff. We serve right. the whole community. That are, you gave us that money. That all, that's it. Well, not anybody in Cheyenne County. I think people out of the county come here and use that stuff. Right. What I'm saying is I think we need to look at how we take care, take care of ourselves part of it instead of taking that somebody else totally takes. To me, it's kind of almost a welfare concept. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. You guys, I will have, let's have this discussion constantly. And uh, some of them, I think, I go to Bird City, I'm kind of concerned over it. But I go into the senior center there. It's open. I don't know how, who opens it and who closes it. There's almost nobody there most of the time. One month, one day, one day a month, they have a birthday party, I think, in there. It's available, it's open. But uh, it's so, not being used very much because most of the people who use it died off or in a nursing home and can't get there anymore. And uh, maybe I'm wrong. You you're, you live there. You see it. But yeah, when I go to Bird City, and I I stop over there sometimes, and you don't do anything. Nobody there. there. Well, they it's it's used a lot more than you think. It's used like on Sunday mornings, and they have like you say the birthday dinners, and they have uh, a luncheons once a month, and uh, potlucks, and take care of it themselves. Oh, it's a, 
very small percent of the people use these 3, things. 3,400. But it, it's open more than you think. You know, it's so used more, than, more often the, than you think. The original number, $8,000, I think, is how much, how much does it cost to insure the building? How much does it cost to, I mean, there's, there's a reason that number is there. If people are only paying so much for a meal, I just, I, I, there's, there's several different other things in our budget that, that I'm looking at, but that doesn't even concern me down here because I think it's a good thing for the community. But there's other places in the budget that, that I want to look at, and I think if you look in, let's just say that you're paying $200 a month for insurance <coughs> on the building, that's $2,400 a year. Let's say the utilities, the gas, let's say that average is at $100. Then you're up to $1,200, $1,200, that's another $2,400. At some point, if we cut down, cut it in half, I mean, I'm not willing to, my mom goes down there, I'm not willing to look at her and say, because she's happy when she comes back, I'm not willing to look at her and say, hey, mom, I, I wanted to save the, the money, you know, Eight thousand dollars when it's it's a it's a real small op. I just I, there's other ways that I'm looking at, and I think that this this is a, a good organization that's going on, and I think we need to. You might want to look at how the cash flow looks down there, and and take a look at everything, the insurance, the over, and and I think you're going to find that eight thousand dollars, they're they're probably cutting it by the teeth of their their skin of their teeth, would be my guess. I'm sorry, but that's my fault. Well, I know there was. A Few years back, we cut the budget of what was it? Was it High Plains Mental Health? Yeah, yeah. We cut their budget. High Plains Mental Health. Holy cow! Was there a repercussion? Well, they took the office And it was, it here. was, yeah. it was. The community got upset. I mean, you might, you might think we can cut the museum, but we'll have a sure line of people in here. Again, is that? Is they're all honestly being, is it again cutting their welfare program? I, I struggle with some of this. Well, most of them are, they're spending their own time and not being paid to run the museum. There's a. The museum was a volunteer organization way back. I volunteered. Well, that. I doubt that, don't that even, building they was built for volunteer money. money. I don't even have meetings anymore. I think mm -hmm. legally they should hold meetings, but. I don't even find out about them. They don't. So I think we need more transparency. We need more communication, and and we're not getting it. I don't know how yeah. we get it, but I think we need. You guys need to be working on that. I constantly complain about it. I don't know how to do it. If I did, I'd do it. I don't know how to get people better informed. We've got all kinds of little entities with paper. Doesn't it's where you get little information out of the newspaper. As I understand, you have to pay if you put anything in there. And is that right? I had somebody tell me that. They don't use the newspaper because they've got to pay for the space yeah, you they have use. Pay. You have to pay if you put if you put your minutes. If Scott sent the minutes down there, would that you have part to pay I couldn't to tell put you. Those minutes in the paper. I'm sure you would. Would they carry it as a public service? We'd have to pay. You got to pay. <clears throat> have you talked to the senior centers about to anybody other about? Cutting That's their close. budget. I talked to Keith Duncan, but you have to But have you talked to anybody else? Have you no. been like when they have a meeting? Have you talked to the other people about cutting it? No, I don't mean to have a meeting. See, that's another thing. We have all these entities taking money out of the county. I just don't think you realize if they have meetings, many. nobody knows where they are. No one wants to meetings in the paper. The city yeah. council's in the paper. Yeah. Well, maybe, the city uh, school board's in the paper. Yeah. All I'm saying is maybe if you talk to Lincoln Rick, did you say? Yeah. yeah. And find out when his meeting in is, talk to all the rest of the people other than just one person, see what they feel about cutting the, the budget, you know. Because I think you can't you talk about raising, that's set by the rule, but they could kick money into the pot and then and that would take care of a lot of this and the people use it ought to be paying for some of it at least. See, it's open to the community, but the people who use it are getting the benefits. You guys don't come down, you don't get benefits, you're paying for something, you don't get benefits. <coughs> see, well, and so that's a thing. I don't think there's, I don't think those meal prices are set by the county. No, they're That's not. That's my state. Saying, so we're getting a cheap meal, but we could pay in more 
if we were going to do it. See, now read the article about it. Well, then you need, to talk, you need to stand down there but, and tell those people to put more money in. I'm yeah. sorry, but the whole reasoning behind where the prices are set, the availability of the senior center, is so that those who are on a fixed income have the ability to get out of their homes and socialize with others without the pressure of not being able to afford it. Yeah. That's the benefit. I'm with you. I have no problem with that. But if you go in and you start raising prices, you start cutting budgets, then the pressure, you aren't going to have those people feeling comfortable in getting out and going to the senior center because in their mind they'll be like, I can't afford this. They are looking at me funny. I'm not going to do this anymore. That's why it is set up the way that it is, so that anyone who wants to take advantage of the senior center has that ability to do so even if they are on a fixed budget. And so that's where the county is stepping in to make sure that that continues with and that the, appropriation. And the city kicks in money. No, he had got he said he went to the city also and talked to them. I don't know how much budget they get out of the city. I'll go to their meeting, but I, yeah. I hope all of you will be constantly thinking. You said something about other places to cut the budget. I'd like to visit about where Come up, there's a lot of because the public is, over with all the money we have to pay in taxes, we can't spend on Main Street or somewhere else. So, thank okay, you. thank you. Yeah. Mainly city, but yeah. Okay, where are we at? I'll ask if there's any more. Is there any more comments on the R and R? R and R. Uh, I can. Go straight into ours and then ask a question. Well, I think we have to close this first. Our budget, if it's okay. Well, let's do, let's finish the R and R first. And right. let's do the R and R hearing first, and then we okay. can do the budget. Okay. Then I do have a question. Uh, on the airport operations, the twenty-two five. That has nothing to do with Mr. Price's contract. With whose contract? Grace. No, that's for. Uh, is it's he, what is you he getting paid under personal services? No. They set that up when he decided to step down on some of that. So they thought that they were going to have to hire somebody, and that's why that money's there to take care of the. So. His contract is going to be paid out of either of these two funds? What does he get paid? I'll even remember. Like five, five hundred dollars? Five hundred a month or something like that? It comes out of the airport operations. It comes out of operations. It could be six thousand a year. And then the personal services. That's not being used right now. Okay. The question was, uh, what will go into the airport improvement fund at the end of the year? Uh, in other words, you've got 42.5 here budgeted. If it's not all used, then it goes into airport improvement. At the end of the year, correct. Right. They carry uh, they carry it over it to the next general. year. We said right. Goes into general. Pardon? Goes, goes back into, into general. The only way that that airport's been improvements been funded is by oil and gas money. Because Dave and I were under the impression that you were going to budget some dollars for for ongoing uh, airport equipment operations. See, in the past there was always a, an amount set aside for that. Well, wouldn't that come up with their main budget? 
they don't have a budget. I mean, our, I mean all the, they have is a what we give them. They had some in their account still, 60 or something. I know Richard Grace said that they could barely make, they just squeaked by on 22.5 that they got. I think what Rodney's trying to suggest is there needs to be a capital outlay line. For capital improvements, budget items. Which there is one. What's that? There is one. Airport capital improvement. But where is the money coming from for the capital improvement? Oil and gas fund. Okay. See, next year we want to start buying that snow removal equipment. And that's why we, we want to know exactly where our funding is going to be next year. Of course, we'll bring the bids to you guys. <laughs> and even if we have to go back to get more, we'll do it. <laughs> okay, now, now we do budget them money to the airport. 22.5. Right? 22.5. And they use all of that. Are we bringing Mike out of that when he does anything, or is that just? No, it's just coming out of as soon as we, I don't know. The airport pays him, I believe. I think the county does. I don't think so. It's part of his salary, so that, that could technically. You know, I believe because this is an appropriation to the board, I believe the treasurer have to appropriate that money to the board. But that is a technicality of mainly clarification. Don't they still have some money in there for the capital improvement stuff? Like a carry over yeah, sixty thousand. What's in there for sure? So if it's a ninety ten split grant on a on a <clears throat> tractor, I mean Yeah, I they're gonna have a pretty good for sure. They're gonna be able to do a pretty have a pretty good machine. Maybe they should have been here earlier or not today. So is that right? Mm -hmm. Anyway. It's never been budgeted for when they set that up. They had that oil and gas money that the state just sent out and said, Okay, that's the end of it when we still have some there, but that's how they they took like half of that, put it in that capital improvement fund. Is that when they're doing like those 90-10 projects? Mm -hmm. We might not have that down the road. We'll be in trouble if we don't. We will have it. He's or saying possibly. if we don't have it, we will be in trouble. Yeah. But I think the next budget cycle we need to when John or Brian comes to discuss budget, we need to bring up the airport and how to structure that so that there are monies so, yeah. guaranteed for improvements. There's a lot of statutes on airports. Yeah. Rodney, so they'd be the ones in the know. Rodney, on your snow removal equipment, is that a matching grant? The so snow will be a, it will be a matching go in for a grant on that. Okay. Yes. For the matching, usually typically yeah, ninety yeah, ten. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. I think you're right. Set up something to, to have a safety net. I know that there's mm -hmm. like sixty thousand that's the, so in there now. That's something that's always concerned me. Yeah. But I think, you know, when we're working on the next budget, specifically okay. bring that up. With the auditors to see how that would work. Yeah, how that can be structured. But this year we're pretty well tied. Yeah. To what we got. Yeah, we, yeah. Can't do anything. we can't do anything. They're just worried about where the extra. Yeah, then going. you can transfer some money, like from that oil and gas fund, to, over to that, or you know, or somewhere else. I mean, you can do that. Can we move money in the general? I think so. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, unanticipated expenses. And that could be for the airport, is that what, that's what we're saying? Need it. If, if they, they needed, needed it.
Okay. Next year, budget time, we need to have you come in. Okay. Not right now that a little late. It's okay. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. They, we'll they work be. with us. Yeah. They will. They'll we'll make it work. They'll be okay. Do you have any other it's questions on it? Pardon? Do you have any other questions on it? No. Uh, I can give our report. And yeah. then, uh, we, have to we need to get through the budget of those hearings. I'm done. Okay. I'm next on the board. I can give our report. Well, we need to get through this first. Oh. Uh, so, I guess there are all the questions. Um, we need to make a motion to approve that resolution. Resolution number 2205. I second it. Revenue neutral rate. Revenue neutral. Oh, not regular. Sorry. We'll need to sign it. Not until there's oh, a second. Yeah. Okay. I second it. Sorry. Then first and second to approve resolution 22 05. 22 05. I need. Eyes and days, too, please. Aye. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Okay. <coughs> and for right. We just went. <laughs> Come on. Okay, now we'll open the budget hearing. You say you're finished now? Yeah. We're no, gonna... we're opening up the budget hearing now. Do you have any more on the budget? No. Okay. No, I don't. Nobody has any questions? and We, we just, just need a motion to approve the 2023 budget. I move we approve the 2023 budget. I second it. And first and second, we approve the budget for 2023. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. I need to use the bathroom quick. Take a five minute break? Yeah, it's fine. Five? Yeah.